Aya, Napa, Aya, fucking Napa, Aya, Napa, Aya, fucking Napa, Aya, Napa, Aya, fucking Napa. Is this the... Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here and you are very welcome my friends and especially my enemies. That was such a fucking mess. I should really start this again but I'm not going to. Welcome to Tuesday night. Is it Tuesday? Hang on. Hang on. What's the day today? Oh, welcome to Monday night's um, Love Island um, reaction. Fucking hell. I've had a bit too much to drink. Excuse me. Anyway, right. So it's been quite a night in Love Island. Um, very predictable. So the couples um, who are kind of least likely to stay together when they go out, um, deemed by everyone else in the villa, is Lucy and Joe and Alma and Anton. Um, pretty outrageous. But of course, this whole fucking thing is rigged. Um, not only is it rigged what couples are chosen, in my opinion, I also feel it's 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 such a lame thing. It's a waste of time, right? It's another way of them getting rid of a couple of weak contestants. So what happens is you can go on the app. Now, I can't have the app because it doesn't work here abroad. They won't let you download it. Um, but basically, right, um, you can basically save a person from each couple, which pretty much means that um, Joe and Alma will be going. And... I can live with Joe going, especially how he treated Sophie yesterday. But actually, it's even better than that because Alma can fuck off as well. I thought Alma was a really nice Essex skill. But ultimately, she's a bitch. She's quite happy to d dump Ant. And I I I'm disgusted in her behaviour, disgusted. You got with the lad last night, sweetheart. You were saying he's a nice guy. He surprised you. Give him a chance. Get to know him. And then you're all over fucking... This Tom Needle dick one. Oh, and by the way, these two new guys are fucking such blatant fuckboys. Now, that's not a great term, and it doesn't mean they're Casanovas or anything, because their banter when they were chatting to Anna and Mora was terrible. You know, I'm disgusted to say that they're, they're part of the same gender as me. Are you joking? And do you know who was doing the better crafting in those sessions? It was fucking Maura. Now, I know you girls hate Maura because she's so cock-hungry and she's, you know, she's just so on it. But at the end of the day, right, you're looking at her and you're judging her. But that's what we're like. That's what us guys are normally like, right? We see a girl, yeah, wouldn't mind a bit of that. Why is it all right when we do it? And when girls are like that, it's, it's deemed, you know... Bad. I think it's fucking brilliant and it's funny and all my girl mates are like that and I fucking love it. We have a good laugh talking about people we fancy and stuff. Oh yeah, we don't mind a bit of that. So fucking what, right? Get over yourselves, right? Stop judging Maura. But she is a bit hypocritical getting pissed off without Alma um, after what she did to Molly May. Talking of Molly May, um, you can try and convince me, Tommy, that you're madly in love with Molly May, but... Basically, if I fucked Molly May, I'd get a fucking confession the next morning. And I'm not even fucking religious. You're having a laugh. She, no way. No way. If I fucked Molly May, I'd, I'd confess for fucking incest. I mean, it, no. Tommy and Molly May are a crap couple. And I think it's hilarious how people voted Lucy and Joe. And what a surprise. Amy went for that straight away. And all her little minions did it as well. But the point is... I mean, Lucy and Joe have got their issues and they're probably not a great couple, but they're a better couple, right? They're a more genuine couple than Molly May and fucking Tommy. And they've only been together for barely a day. And you can tell they're not suited. They are not suited. The chat is shit. There's nothing going on there. But let's just pretend they're a great couple. Let's fall for it. Oh, Molly May and Tommy had their first fucking kiss. Love Island producers, could you stop this bollocks? with this first kiss, nobody believes it, it's pretty funny because I'm a cynical person and because I've been on reality TV as well, I know how it fucking works, so you've got all these couples trying to convince us they're genuine couples and they're feeling that vibe, but nobody believes that, they just want to fucking win the money, they just want to win the fucking show, who are you fucking kidding, I look at the couples right now and um, there's a, look, there's too many couples 
riding the surfboard, you know, staying in the background. And that really pisses me off in reality TV as well. You know, put yourself out there, you know, you know, no risk, um, no reward. So, yeah, there's, this, this, there's some things that really piss me off about tonight's show. And the biggest one was Tommy and Molly May because they're a fake couple. Um, oh, and then Amy. Oh, and what's, I keep on forgetting the other geezer's name, the one I think who's gay, right? But Amy and her fella, right, you know, they've been doing stuff in bed, right? Mm-hmm. Curtis, that's his name. Curtis, you can go to the lads and tell them what you've been getting up to. And I think that's classless, by the way. You're kissing and tell you it meant to be a fucking gent. But anyway, lad, you're gay. You like boys. You like lads, right? You like people of the same gender. You don't like women. You chose Amy because of that. It's it's obvious. And um, I'm a bit embarrassed for you, really, mate, because it's just so blatantly honest what your, what your sexuality is. And, I mean, I think people should come out and be proud of who they are. I'm proud of who I am. I'm straight. And if I was gay, I'd get out there and say I was gay. And I'd be chatting out lads and I'd be shagging lads. And um, I'd have a boyfriend and all that. I wouldn't be ashamed of it. Be proud of what you are. Don't live in fucking denial. But what do you think of tonight's Love Island? Um, personally, I thought the whole thing was a bit lame. It wasn't the greatest of episodes, especially when you're coming off of, you know, of a recoupling. But it wasn't the most. You know, they built Tommy and Molly May as this big, you know, big deal, this big recoupling. And it wasn't. Because first of all, no one sees this as a great love story. I think the only great love story story there is if Tommy and Lucy get together. Because really, as I said before, they should have got, got in there in the first week. Even though originally, I didn't want that. So even this these kind of votes coming into which ones of the couples they're saving. You know, which one from each couple are they saving? It's obvious, as I said on the top of the show. You know, Lucy and... Um, and Anne are going to be staying. So there's no question about that. So please like, share and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow to talk about more Love Island. I would say tonight was pretty infuriating. But once I found out that you could save one from each couple. And I knew Ant and Lucy were going to stay. I was a little bit more chilled out. So really the whole thing is pointless. But this is how they run Love Island. They find contrived reasons to get rid of people. Who are not providing enough entertainment on the show. Is it clever? Is it crafty? I'll let you decide on that one.